everybody welcome back to my youtube channel this is a really quick video so for those of you that like quick videos subscribe hit the bell notification button and you know whenever i upload a video so i thought i would give you a quick update on my stackers jewelry box for those of you that follow me you will know for those of you that are new here hi welcome uh, i decided to upgrade my jewelry storage solution from the traditional Stacker's jewellery box, I have mine in mink, which basically exactly that was modular and stacked. And then to get your jewellery out, you lifted the section up and then got your jewellery. Used it for years and really liked it, but actually, for me, with someone that doesn't have a lot of storage space, I found it a bit awkward because then when you pick something up, where do you put it? And I would often be trying to like hold it with one hand and tilt it and get my hand in and get another item out. And I think because of that, I didn't really make use of all the jewellery that I've got. Not that I own an awful lot, and most of it is costume, but what I did have, I wasn't necessarily utilising all of it, and I think that's a shame. Um, I'm going through the process now of consolidating, and I've got way too much Pandora. I am gradually selling bits from that. Um, I don't like hand let go of. For me, it's a gradual process selling anything because I get emotionally attached. Um, so yeah, because I always think, oh, I wore this when I did this, and I wore that when I did that, and yeah. So it, it takes a while. Anyway, decided to change it to still stackers and still modular, but they do a new drawer version, which comes in a number of colours. I went for, I think it's called Pebble Grey or Grey Pebble. Um, I'll put a link in the description box below. Um, put it on my Christmas list. was lucky enough to receive one from my parents, but it arrived damaged. I've got a replacement and it's fine. And I just, I set it all up this morning and I thought I'd show you quickly in case anyone is interested, in case anyone is looking for, you know, a, a new way of storing their jewellery um, and would like to see, basically. So I will show, I'll, I'll take you with me over there and I'll show you. So this is my setup. You can see my Stackers jewellery case on the left there. My matching Stackers makeup caddy there on the right. My Simple Human Makeup mirror, which is amazing, it lights up. A little tub from Amazon, which is great, but Chanel jewelry and some Augustus batter. So let me move some of these items out of the way and then we'll get onto the good stuff. Okay, just move this final thing out of the way. So firstly, let's just show you this. This is the makeup caddy. So you can see I've got all my, my many Hermes lipsticks in the front there, and then some skincare and foundations towards the back. In the drawers, I have slightly sticky because it's heavy. Hourglass palettes, hourglass makeup brush, and in the bottom, again, a few bits and pieces in terms of bronzers and finishing powders. Right, here we go. So on the top here, which I couldn't do with my long, because I had to lift the top off, but because this has got drawers, I'm finally using my gorgeous mosaic Hermes porcelain tray or sushi plate. I've got some Hermes and uh, like a blush, finishing powder and highlighter. It's cute. I don't know if they still do this. I got the last one from Selfridges at the time. Cute little travel brush but I love how it stands there. And this that I love more than I ever thought possible. My Hermes Plein Air. It's what I'm wearing today actually. SPF 30 so that's great. So you can see that just sits on top there and I put some little feet on to stop it slipping. So, draw number one. You can see there, so I'm trying not to make a mess. So, I've got like a, I've added what I had bought separately, but for my old one, um, just in the back right hand corner there, a little charm. Um, I'm actually trying to sell those charms. Then we've got some Tiffany. You can see it has a lot of Pandora in here. Um, and then in this top bit, I've put my earrings, mainly Chanel, and rings. So there's my beloved Hermes Chain Donc earrings. So that's fine jewellery. That's a bit of fine jewellery, but that's about it. Second drawer, and again, obviously, because it's module, you can reorder it as you want. But I use this, I like these little separate compartments for basically rings, earrings, and some necklaces so that nothing gets too tangled up. My 40th birthday present for my husband there, Chanel. And then 
this one you've got these sort of basically long separated sections so this is really great for again any long bracelets or any necklaces and this bottom one is deeper so this is good for the storage of any watches I put in here all my different um, Apple watch straps and I've also got my mega watch wrapped up in a pouch at the back I need to get that battery sorted and then here we've got like little um, Hermes bracelets mainly um, my Chanel brooch but you can see like just leather some very secure there with the palladium so yeah that just obviously goes in better when you don't do it one handed um, but yeah they just go in there so I bought this as a foursome with these set four drawers that's how deep it is from the side they do do a larger version but this is the classic size but not the classic style the classic style like I say is the one that just stacks I wanted the drawers just so I could get to it easier also you can see this is quite high because it's on my tall tall boy so that was a very quick tour of my jewelry storage um, I hope you found that useful let me know any questions at all and I'm more than happy to ask not to ask, you'll be asking to answer and I will see you very soon I'm going to go and walk the dog have a fabulous day, evening, whatever you're doing and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.